Uh, hi guys, uh, welcome to my channel for another video. Uh, if you have not seen my previous video, so please check the description and click on the link to uh, see the video. Do it from controller class. So now we need to go ahead and click controller under the Jai Tech web. So right click on it, uh, click on controller. We'll go ahead and add an empty controller. I will type it as category controller, category controller, uh, click on, click on add. Now we see the category controller has created under controller folder and we have index folder right here. So now uh, here we have to add view. So let's do that. Let's do go ahead and add view. Okay. I click on add view then click on add it here let's put it index okay so here we have added the view under this view we'll design and then display the data from the sql server for the um, uh, category tables okay uh, to save the time what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go ahead copy and pa paste the code for the views so then uh, you know uh you can see i will go ahead and explain the code as well but uh let me know if you have more question on this view uh code uh i can go ahead and you know go ahead and explain to you uh what 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 all those about so let me copy and paste it now copy it go ahead paste it here uh you'll see i just see the code is here you can see it and what we have to do we have to go ahead and add the model uh, so go ahead and put it on model. It, it will receive an I enumerable. I enumerable. Uh, that should model classes. Model classes dot category because uh, we are getting the list of items from this category, right? Uh, so that's why we put it uh, I enumerable because there will be a list coming from database and it will be displayed over here. So you see what I have done that I did. Uh, this is the category list, and then here we see the create. I'll, I'll show you in view. Once you see the view, uh, you will understand better. Uh, so, and then I will also explain everything why I why I'm using padding all this is and um, CSS classes, right? Uh, which I using to design, you know, the view, design the view. Okay, so now let's go back to that category controller class. Uh, what's going to happen, we have to get the data from database. To do that, what you have to do, we have to go ahead and create a uh, classes, uh, create a you know, instance for uh, data, let's say for application TV context classes. So here, it will be to read only application TV context, put it context. I will go ahead create a constructor for this. Let's do create a constructor. What I did, I here right click on it, click on the quick factor and click the, uh, create the constructor for application context class. Okay, so now we have cleared the DB class constructor. Now we'll go ahead and call it. Okay, let's do call it and then put it back here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna click on bar, this items if you want to context. Let's do context dot categories. Let's do to list. Okay. So you do see uh, under context dot categories dot to list. I will send this to view. Okay. Now we'll go ahead, build this solution and see if there is any error or not. Okay. Now, okay. I do see there is no error. And now what we're going to do, uh, we need to also uh, create a, some kind of share link so then whenever we run this application uh and then we can see that link so then we can click on that link to load the view for uh category index so to do that let me let me show you one thing i'm gonna go ahead run this again and you see i do not have any kind of link here to click on category so you see those link or those tab is coming from a, somewhere which would be shared to all the pages, you know, 
whatever we create. So we create view phase. The view phase, we're not able to load it because uh, we have been provide the link for our view. So we need to provide the link for our view to share pair share page. So then you know you can you 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 views link or or your you know or your page uh, for the view should be available to click and view it. So you can see this is the home page when you click so what it does it take you to the home page. If you click on privacy it take you to home and privacy page, right? If you click on register you can see it will take you to identity account routing to register. So now we have to go ahead and create something so then it take us to our view. Okay, let's stop the, let's stop the program. Uh, I will go ahead and explain a little more deep on this because this is very important concept for this web application, I mean, uh, for the document. So if you go to the Jai Dev web, there should be a folder, it's called shared. The shared folder, you see the layout of HTML. So this is the folder, it's, the, it's kind of master folder where you will see all those button for, you see the home, privacy, and then you also see some kind of login page and they are trying to get it through log partial view. I will go ahead and explain details all those uh, later for how partial view is work but we'll try to understand this thing first here. So if you see, uh, we know we are seeing home and privacy link there. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead, copy one of them, and then just put it there. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna type it as a category, okay? This should be a name of the tab that I'm going to display. And we know we have category controller. So we'll point to category. And then we have a action, which is index. So what's gonna happen whenever I click on category, right? And then what it will do, it will route to controller, category controller. And then under that controller, we have a index function or index action will be popped up, that will be triggered. Uh, so let's go ahead, run again, and let's see if we're able to view this category tab or not. Okay, uh, we see the category tab is available. Now, what are we going to do? We're going to go ahead and click on category tab and to see if we are, if you get loaded or not. So I had click on that. Let me see if it does load, load it on. Okay, congratulations. We do see our view here. Okay, let me do, uh, this is our view. And as you remember, our ID is, we have created ID for all the schools we wish me. If you would like to change the design for the view, you welcome to do it, you know. If you do not want to show ID, because since this is the primary key ID, uh, you can hide it, or uh, you can redesign this up to you. Uh, but uh, this is how you need to oh, process, you know, all those things uh, to view the data from database. So now we have view. Uh, let me show you what's going on here. So let's go back to our category controller. I'm gonna put another, I'm gonna put a breakpoint here and then go to my view again. Uh, so let's go back to home page. They take us to home page. Now, if I really click on this view, right? It stop here because I put the debug point here. So now you need to know why we are getting this, right? So if you go down a little bit, now you can see we have four items, see? All the four items is now available since we created connection uh, to our database using application DB context, right? And then through there, we connecting through our database. Uh, so what happened uh, when I get the items to our, more from our view, uh, sorry, from our database, I'm storing that this variable. And then what it does, I'm sending to these items to our view from view, I did, I created deep and then put a category list, you can see it. And I had a one horizontal line, which is this one. So what I did, um, I used boost, bootstrap, right? I think it is 5.0, I think. Let me show you what is under the, uh, so to see the 
bootstrap installation or you know all those configuration files you can find it under root go to library go to bootstrap go to distance and cs it will show you uh 5.10 is the version that we are currently using it so now what happened uh this is row under row we setting up a column right so this whole thing is kind of a row and then we have a one column two column under this row so this means column with large will take seven and then column with medium will take a space five and column a small 12. so if this space is 12 right i uh, so when the display size is seven right when display size is large it will take a seven I mean, seven space from 12. You got my point, what I'm trying to say. It will block, you know, the space, which is seven when the screen size is large. So that means uh, when screen size is medium, so then each column will take five. And then when space, when, when the size is 12 or small, sorry, it will take whole size of the space. So now you can see the category list and then and then the create category button. I put it one row, right? And I put it into it one row, you can see it. So this, what's gonna happen if my display size is big, you can see this column takes more, more, uh, more space. And then this takes the uh, seven, uh, this one takes also, I think five. So when display size is seven, category list will take space seven. And when display size is five, category space, I uh, mean the character eight button will take uh, less. So, I mean, uh, if you guys want to learn more about Bootstrap, please do comment, uh, do comment under this video. I will try to create another video and explaining how this row and then column work in Bootstrap, okay? So um, here you can see now, we have category button right there, and then we will go ahead and implement another, uh, we'll go ahead and implement another action for inserting how to create data, you know, then how do you, uh, how to delete, and then how do you know, how to edit all those things. So if you look carefully everything, right? So make sure you type everything correct. Here you can see our model is not, empty because we have four data if it was empty then uh, we wouldn't see the space maybe it will show an empty base okay so since our model is not empty it will go into here i'm creating a table to display the data so this is uh the table if you know uh bootstrap very well i i think you should understand what i did here so here uh for each loop i'm using to retrieve the data so i'm using item in model Right, so every item that I have, which is under this model, so I'm getting item.id to print ID here, it will print name here from the model. And then you see here the table header for ID and then. So here I create another link for absurd, means like I wanted to insert and create at the same time. I mean, I wanted to create an update within one action. Okay, uh, I'll go ahead and explain everything details in our next video, how to do and implement it and also delete it. So here you guys need to know, this is SP action. This is the uh, function we're going to implement under controller and it will do pass ID to up, like if you want to, uh, if you want to update this item, what's gonna do, it will pass the ID from here to your upset function. So then you can either edit or delete it. I think uh, we are so far good here. Please do comment if you do not understand any part here from here on out. I will try my best to explain everything in details. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for watching the video. See you in the next tutorial. Please do share, like, and subscribe the channel. Thank you. Bye.